Hi there everybody, this is Brian, and I'm happy to announce that after a little bit of a hiatus, 100% PowerPoint is back. I had a little change in my work situation, so I had to take a little break while I adjusted, but I wanted to kick off this new beginning with one of my favorite animations, an orbit animation. So you'll see that once I hit click here, you get this illusion of a moon orbiting around a planet. However, as usual, you didn't come here to watch an animation, you came here to learn how to make it. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here and delete everything because, as usual, I prefer to start from scratch. Now step one is you're going to want to go in here and create a circle. So if you select your uh, circle tool here, or oval, I guess, um, hold down shift and just drag it out. It's going to draw you a nice little circle here, so that's a good size right there. And we're, next we're going to align it to the center. So you go to Arrange, go down to Align, then Align Center, and then one more time go up to Arrange, go to Align, and Align to the middle. And we can recolor this however we please, so I'm going to remove the outline because I don't need that and we're going to change it to more of a lighter blue to, you know, something a little bit more earth-like. Next we're going to actually we're just going to copy and paste this one so if you hold control and then hit D it's going to uh, duplicate the circle and you can drag this over to the side here and that's a good distance now if you go to any of these corners here, hold down shift and control, it's going to resize it down the middle. There you go. And that's a good size. And now we're going to duplicate this one more time. So once again, control D. And we're going to take this one and we're going to drag it to the other side of our earth here and if you have your guides on you'll notice that it snaps in place and perfectly spaces it out there and now we're going to take these two and just group them so um, one way you can do it is with the keyboard shortcut of control G but you can also go up to arrange group and it'll group the two pieces and you're going to just apply a little bit of a tilt to it. And while we have them both here, let's go ahead and change the color of it to something like a gray. And now you can ungroup these by going up to Arrange and Ungroup. Now that we have the uh, makings of our uh, moon and uh, earth here, what we're going to do is go up to Animations and we're going to add an animation and go down here towards the bottom and go to lines go ahead and hit that one and it's going to uh, default to uh, going down which is fine because we're just going to grab the end point of this bottom moon here and drag it up to the start point of this one once you have that you can actually delete this top moon and now we're going to go into the uh, the actual motion path and uh, do a little bit of work on that. So if you double click it, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a smooth start and a smooth end. You're going to go down here and you're going to click auto reverse. And we're going to set the timing, so we'll go ahead and keep it on click for now. And let's go ahead and make this one second. And we're also going to go to repeat, and we're going to set it up to go till until the end of slide down at the bottom here. All right so now you can already see that it's starting to play it so we're going to go into slideshow mode real quick and you can already see that it's starting to have the uh, effect that it's orbiting 
So next we're going to apply a additional animation onto uh, our moon here. So we're going to go up to add animation and you want to do add animation and not select from this section here because you don't want to overwrite the motion path that we've created. So go up to add animation and then go to grow shrink and double click on that grow shrink animation and we're going to make a few changes in here so the first thing we're going to want to do is we want it to shrink down to 0% go ahead and delete that 1.5 and hit enter go to smooth start and smooth end and you want them to be even so we'll go ahead and set it up at one second each and click auto reverse next we're going to go to timing and we're going to go to start here we want it to actually start with previous and we're going to apply a delay so we'll set it up to a half a second and then we're going to go down here and make the duration one second and finally have it repeat until the end of slide and go and hit OK So if we actually go down here and uh, take it in the slideshow mode and hit the space key, you'll see that we have the makings of an orbit already. And honestly, this would be fine. You'd have a, uh, you know, a perfectly, um, you know, a fine animation. However, we're going to escape out of here because we want to add one more step to really give that illusion that this is an object orbiting around this Earth. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do our duplicate trick again. So control D. And now we have a second moon here. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go up to the uh, second oval motion, motion path. And we're going to change this to with previous and remove that delay so take it down to zero and we're going to also double click on the uh, grow shrink again and we're going to change this grow shrink and we're gonna set it up to be we'll say 25 percent go ahead and hit enter and hit enter one more time Actually, that's a little too much, so we're going to go ahead and we'll do 50%. That's better. Next, I'm going to click on this one, and once again, we're going to go to Home, go up to Arrange, and send it to the back. Now, select both of your moons go up to arrange and align to left and then align to top here and you are done with all of your animating it's actually very simple as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and go into slideshow mode one more time and I'm going to hit space here and now you really get that illusion you know what's actually happening is you have two pieces that are moving back and forth, one that's shrinking to zero, so you don't see it pass in front, and then the other one in back that is shrinking down to 50%. But it gives this great illusion that it's actually rotating around this Earth-like object. So that is all I have for you today. Uh, hopefully you guys like what I um, showed you today. Um, I'm hoping to do some more tutorials. It's been a little bit of an absence and I've missed doing this, but I'm really excited to dive back in. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions, um, or if you wanted to just send me uh, an example of something that you built using this technique. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys all create, and thank you for watching. Once again, this has been 100% PowerPoint.